The clock branding, uh, bottom plinth, side left, side right, front panel important, top of plinth, underneath screens and sides there. Obviously the leaderboard is the most important because people tell, it tells what to, you have to do. Press the button to start the countdown, hit the button to land on the target number. Today's target is 354.000. Rob and I will now play it. It's set a few seconds above, so let's hit the button. I'm after 354, here we go. Ooh, so I go on the leaderboard. 354.079, 354.079, Bob. And let's play again, reset. And three, two, one, go. So we're trying to get closer to that now. Ooh, three, five, four, oh, oh, seven. So that one goes down. Three, five, four, oh, oh, seven. Uh, and Rob obviously is uh, a lot farther away. So he wouldn't go on the board. So the high score at the moment, three, five, four, oh, oh, seven very close and that stays on there during the day until someone gets a better score let's try it again i've gone bust i don't go on that once again is not as close as that one so we'll try one more time three five four miles away miles away so that would stay on the board until someone got 006, 005, and then someone is going to get during the day, hopefully, 354000. And if nobody betters that score, they are the winner. They win the star prize. If there's two or three people all get that, you go into a prize draw and pull one name out to win the star prize. I hope that uh, makes sense. Or you can have the two screens, but we can leave the one screen set with the target, 354000, to show people what they have to get. But in our opinion, based on hundreds of events, having two people play competitive adds a lot more fun to it. See you soon.